Here's a subject I get a lot of questions about. Many of my online friends will find a cocoon or a caterpillar or a chrysalis in their yard and they'll ask me how to take care of it. Well, it just happens so I found these two bugs in my backyard today and I thought I'd make a little documentary about how to take care of these bugs when you do find them. What I've got here is what looks like a moth pupa and this right here is a caterpillar, probably the same species. So we're going to grab these guys and take them inside. I brought a container out with me and I'm going to take these tweezers or some other thing, whatever you got, to pick them up, put them in the container, and take them inside. This little guy right here is a caterpillar. Now we're going to take them inside and make a, an emerging chamber for them out of the same container. Meanwhile, back in the lab, we've got our bugs in the container and a bit of nylon netting, really thin stuff you can get at Walmart for about a dollar a square yard. Just about any kind of cloth that's transparent and very air permeable will work fine. So we're going to take the bugs out of the container here and we're going to go ahead and make this into an emerging chamber. First I'm going to cut a strip of this netting to go on the inside of this container and I want it to be just about as tall as this container is. Okay, here's our strip that's about as wide as the container is, maybe a little bit taller so that it fits on the bottom. Nothing too complex or special, I've just wrapped this netting around the inside of the jar so that when the bug emerges he'll be able to climb up this netting on the side because the sides are real slippery and the bugs can't really grip them very well and they need to climb up on something to expand their wings properly. I've torn up a small piece of napkin here and I'm going to put that in the bottom of the container to help hold the netting in place and also absorb any moisture. So as you can see here there's really no magic to this. We got the netting around the side and we have a napkin on the bottom just kind of stuffed in place. This plastic jar happens to have a label already on it but that doesn't matter. We only want, need to see it through one side so we're going to just face that away from us and we're going to carefully put the bugs in here. I've got one more small piece of netting and I'm going to go ahead and put that on top of this container and rubber band it in place to keep the critters from getting out and also keep any predators from getting in. And here we have the finished project. You can see we have the netting rubber banded in place and you can easily see the bugs inside the jar. This is a plastic jar but a glass one will work just fine and notice we are not going to use the lid. We don't want to seal it up, not because there's not enough air, but because it's really important to prevent condensation and moisture which will actually kill the bugs. So that's it for this easy to do project. Good luck with yours.